Guys, today we have so much stuff to unpack. I am going to show you this video clip, which makes it game over for Gary Gensler. That's it. It's done. And Gary Gensler has lost all credibility, as if he didn't already do that. Guys, stick around. I'm going to show you this. I am going to show you what I think is going to happen next for the crypto markets. We have one very unique signal that is flashing right now, and this typically leads into something crazy for Bitcoin. I'm going to talk about the inflation situation. We have a big, huge day today, actually. So be prepared for the volatility that's going to come today. I will talk about that. I will talk about the reason why we might be going down right now. Some very serious allegations against Binance. And if this was actually the case, then this is also game over for Binance. I'm just going to say that. So very key things to talk about today, guys. Make sure to stick around from the beginning until the end. Welcome back, everybody. My name is Chris, bringing you cryptocurrency videos every day, teaching you how to make money in this market. If you're new to the channel, then make sure to subscribe and activate the bell right now. And let's get into the charts here. And what you can see yesterday, we were talking about big volatility. We were talking about potentially having a big pump yesterday. And we actually did see that. So we did see a pretty big pump because the uh, inflation numbers that came out was actually slightly better than the market was expecting. However, we did see that pump and we saw it right to the dollar of the massive resistance level I've been warning you about here at 26,431. So we pumped up to the apps exact dollar of this resistance level and from this point, huge rejection. So this was actually almost 3% on this four hourly candle. So I Hope that this uh, resistance level were helping you in your trading yesterday, but you can still see that we are in this kind of trend of wanting to slowly go higher. It's almost as if the price is being suppressed by something right now, because if you look, this is something I've been talking about a lot before. If you look at traditional markets, they continue to go up more and more and more for every day that goes by. So something is clearly pushing down Bitcoin. And guess what? I am going to show you something very, very soon, which might be actually the reason why we're seeing Bitcoin go down. So stick around for that. But first, let us look at this. This is a historical signal. So what this is, the red line is the 20 week moving average of the Bollinger Band. So basically, uh, sorry, let me clarify that. So this red line is actually the... Uh, weekly 20 moving average and down here you have the Bollinger Band width. Basically uh, the Bollinger Band showing us when it is as narrow as possible. If you don't know what the Bollinger Band is, let me go here and see if I can flip it on. So this is the Bollinger Band. So as you can see price is generally squeezing uh, inside of uh, these bands and whenever you are at a very um, narrow, you can see it's becoming very narrow right here, meaning it's squeezing into a very narrow path. Uh, whenever you see that, that is basically what this chart is telling us, that when you have these bars here is when the Bollinger Bands are very, very narrow. So what you can see is when these Bollinger Bands have been very narrow in the past, and you can see we've been retesting the 20-week moving average at the same time, uh, you can see we had a huge pump right here when we um, were testing the 20 week moving average together with the Bollinger Band squeezing. Let us disregard this for now and let's go back a little bit longer in history. You can see the same thing here. Big squeeze on the Bollinger Bands did have a significant pump. Here, big squeeze on the Bollinger Bands, retest of the 20 week moving average, big pump. Retest of the 20, moving, uh, 20 week moving average, big pump. So out of most of these, when you've had the Bollinger Band squeeze and testing, and this is actually testing it on from the downside, and this failed. So this is actually where we saw a huge drop instead. So in generally, it means that when the Bollinger Bands are squeezing, you see these bars here at the, at the lower edge, um, you can see that we usually do have a big move. So the question is, are we going to have a big move to the upside, as you can see here, which usually happens, or are we going to see it to the downside? Well, let's see where this is going to close. Are we going to close above or below the 20-week moving average? That could give us a clue as to what the next direction is. But as you know, guys, I do think that in general we are going to pump. So I think that we are going to pump, maybe not today because of the volatility, uh, but eventually, whether it be today, whether it be in a week, a month, or two months, we are going to have big pumps for Bitcoin as Bitcoin start, starts to catch up with the gains the traditional markets 
have been having. So now let's talk about this video. And this is game over for Gary Gensler. Let's just watch it together first. Over 70% of the crypto market is Bitcoin, Ether, Litecoin, Bitcoin Cash. Why did I name those four? They're not securities. Three quarters of this market is probably not security. So as you could hear for yourself, he said that over 70% of the crypto markets are not security and even name dropped Ethereum. He name dropped a couple of other coins. So this goes against the agenda he is driving right now. And this is why it's game over because if he himself in a video clip in 2018 said that these are not securities, Ethereum, Litecoin, Bitcoin Cash and Bitcoin, and that 70% of the market is not securities. Well, then, you know, how are these exchanges supposed to be able to uh, to understand what is a security or not when he himself is saying that 70% of the market is probably not securities. And the, the securities he have been naming, Ethereum, BNB, Cardano, I think Tron as well, but I definitely know Solana Polygon and his uh, coin down here somewhere, Algorand, uh, this one. So he's been naming many of these coins securities, which makes up more than 70% of the market. So, I mean, that does not make any sense. And this is why I think that the case against, against these being securities, I hope is going to fail and that his agenda is just going to, uh, to get completely wrecked and he won't be able to pursue that even more. So this is why it's very important to keep track of what's been going on here and what's been go going to go on uh, during the next uh, couple of months to see how this all progresses. However, there's another thing to talk about as well. So the inflation numbers, as we already talked about, they came in a little bit lower than expected, which made the market pump up to my resistance level. And from that point, we went down. But the market is now expected because today we're going to have the uh, FOMC meeting. We're going to have the interest rates being announced. And 95% believes that the interest rate is going to be not hiked today. It's at least uh, going to be at the same level uh, it is uh, at right now. So that means that this will probably be for the first time since they started to hike rates every single month. This will be the first time they do not raise the rates anymore. So that could be one big bullish thing that the market sees that first big um, yeah, stop of the interest rate hikes. But look at this, it's 4.7% of them raising interest rates, which believes that only a small handful of people believe that they're going to raise it again. So if they do raise it, well, then, of course, the markets are going to react very, very badly. So uh, I don't think that this is going to happen. I do think they're going to remain at the same levels we're at right now. So they will have a pause of the interest rates for the first time. So who has been selling Bitcoin? Well, we do have some concerning news that Binance and CZ have been selling spot Bitcoin at an alarming rate. So this could explain why it feels like Bitcoin has been being suppressed. Because Bitcoin has been being suppressed. I've been talking about this for several weeks already. Now, if you don't know, there is actually a major liquidation at $220 for BNB. Because there was a hacker who stole insane amounts of BNB. He posted it as collateral. He borrowed other coins. He posted BNB as collateral. And if we hit $220 for BNB, that big position is going to be liquidated, racking the BNB price. So you can see the BNB price is only like $30 from that point right now, which is absolutely insane. But this is the speculation that Binance are actually defending this um, price of BNB in order for this to not get liquidated. And this sounds a little bit similar to what Sam and FTX did with FTT, right? So these are the allegations. The allegations is that Binance and CZ are actually selling Bitcoin. Uh, Bitcoin is sold off, BNB is purchased, so pumping the BNB price. And that defends the $220 liquidation, but also caps the upside potential for Bitcoin. So, um, and if we go back here, SKU, which is a very famous analyst as well, says that he confirms that this is true. It looks like Bitcoin is being sold off for USDT reserves. USDT reserves are being pumped into BNB aggressively. So BNB is being sold off for BUSD to suppress the volatility in Bitcoin. BUSD is pumped into Bitcoin to suppress the downside volatility so Bitcoin can be swapped out for USDT. 
This is technically market manipulation. Binance is definitely up to something here to prevent BNB from crashing, but also prevent Bitcoin from crashing. So is this true or not? Well, CZ himself actually came out and uh, said that he do not believe that this is the case or like he is not doing it. So Binance has not sold Bitcoin or BNB. We even still have a bag of FTT. So uh, he confirms they have not sold any Bitcoin or BNB. Um, however, you can also see, let me see if I find it. So uh, most employees at Binance US were being paid with BNB. So never sold, but they spent a good chunk of it paying salaries to people. So that was pressure for BNB. So depending on how you look at this and um, yeah, I mean, Sure, okay, technically, Binance maybe never sold Bitcoin or BNB, but if they transferred significant amounts of BNB as salaries, paying a lot of different people at Binance, then they probably sold it. So, I mean, what difference does it make? Anyway, there's going to be more things being revealed here with this. Did actually Binance, are they doing this right now? Are they actually trying to defend BNB? Because there's that massive risk of liquidation if BNB reaches $220. We will find out over time. However, there's also the case with Binance against the SEC. And we know that the SEC wanted to freeze all the assets that Binance had. Now, the court actually denied that. So, so far, the court has denied the SEC from freezing the Binance US assets. So, that could be one indication that the uh, judge do not think, at this point at least, that there's enough merit and enough criminal things that Binance have been doing for them to actually get their assets frozen. So big things happening, guys. Big things happening. FOMC meeting later on today. Be prepared for volatility. As for me, the trading strategy is still doing very, very well here. All of these bots are still at profit, guys, which is absolutely fantastic. For me, I'm keeping this open right now. I'm waiting for that volatility to play out. And tomorrow we will see where the Bitcoin price is going to be. And I will make a decision on what to do with these orders who may or may not be stuck at, uh, you know, seven or nine safety orders. If you want to use these bots yourself, you can do so using the link in the description. So go down to the description. You got the OKX link right here. Claim up to $60,000 with this. Once you have signed up, you have the settings with one click. You can set up each and every one of those bots. So make sure to do that if you want to do that. And also don't forget about Bybit, Femex, BitGet also major exchanges you are able to trade on. Guys, that's what I got for you. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.